Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wolf Quest 3, where on this snowy night we are back with Crow as he begins to catch his breath and let his very sore sprained muscles relax after a very dramatic day of running away once again from the bear tooth males. Oh, look at the storm on the horizon. That is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, can we get a... Oh, oh, oh. Okay. I was trying to get some of that lightning in a picture with Crow. That might be a little challenging, but we'll kind of keep- Oh, that's so cool! Maybe the sign of the stormy skies is a good thing. Oh, yes! Okay, I got a little bit of the lightning. It's really hard to get with Crow, but that is so beautiful! Wow, maybe it is a sign- Oh jeez, and then the, the snow has come in. Wow. Maybe it's a sign from the ancestors that everything is going to be okay, even though Crow is quite concerned. So we have once again run away from the Beartooth males after falling in to their den of all places. We were running across the, the canyon area. We were leaving the junction area after the unfortunate demise of one of the female junction wolves that the Beartooths just ripped apart. It was very terrifying. We fell down a cliff. Crow almost died. He was like two heartbeats away from death. He passed out from the pain, woke up, and actually found that he had wandered into the bear tooth den, which was so ridiculous. We have almost fled the entire area of Yellowstone to get away from them. And now here we are on this snowy, starry night, trying to recover our energy, trying to recover from our, our wounds from the flight. Oh, dreaming! Dreaming of how we have to take care and get rid of the bear tooth pack in order- Oh my gosh, this is a very interesting dream. In order to help the future of all of the wolf packs in the area, not just the dawn pack, not just the moon pack, who crows descended from, but everyone. Oh my gosh, it has been dramatic. And in order to help the future of all the packs in the area, I think Crow is realizing that even if he can't find Luster or Luster's sister, he might have to make an alliance with one of the other strong wolves in the area just to make sure that they no longer have to worry about the bear tooths tearing them apart. This has been one heck of a dramatic journey. And Crow's heart will always belong to Luster, but I am beginning to realize that the most important thing we could do now is find him either Luster's sister or whatever strong and bold female might come up because we have to do battle with the Beartooth males. And if we wait to, like, to find just Luster's sister, what if she dies? So we might have to start working just with the other wolves, whoever is willing to join us to try to take out those Beartooths. Uh, and see what happens. I mean, there's a chance we could even lose whoever becomes our companion in that big battle. Oh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be tricky. So, new plan. Try to find the strongest of whatever... Oh, there we go, we're at the border, huh? Try to find the strongest of any of the females who is willing to work with us. Uh, are we still at the border? We must be. Okay, so I should probably start going to the south then. Maybe? Can I go south? There we go. But try to find the strongest of any of the females willing to work with us in order to try to take out the bear tooths. And I think I have to go back across the river now that Crow's feeling better. Because it is very mad that I'm at the border. And we did actually see some of the junction wolves running around over here a little bit ago. So let's see if we can find a bite to eat. I know, I know, I'm turning around. Yeah, we'll see if we can go down, maybe find something to eat along the south, the south area of where we're at. And then we might howl and go to sleep and see if we can attract some of the other wolves to maybe form an alliance with and take out those bear tooths. Cause holy cow, like this has been ridiculous. I can't believe how their story has just gotten more and more and more dramatic as the days go by. All right, let's see. Oh boy, male dispersal wolves. That's going to be the bear tooths. It seems like they're busy chasing a mule deer. Yeah, they're that direction. So let's go more towards the southeast and try to avoid them. 
and find some food of our own. Oh, look at how beautiful this world is. There's still snow kind of in little patches here and there. All right, what can we smell? Pardon the lag. This is an early access version of the game. So we do have a little bit of lag now and then. Oh, what's this? A territory marker, huh? For the Lamar Canyon? Hmm. Well, we're not really interested in like destroying the other wolves territory, but let's go further south and then to the west. And I think in the empty areas, we'll kind of mark our territory just to try to prevent problems from happening. Is that fox? Yeah, there's a lot of foxes out lately. That's quite interesting. All right, south, and then we'll go to the west a little bit to get out of their territory. Are those the wolves in the distance? Female dispersal wolves. Whoa. Who's growling at me? What was that? That's a cougar. I almost walked on top of a cougar. Where are the female dispersal wolves? Okay, there's a snowshoe hare. How did I almost walk on top of a cougar? I still didn't even see it. I think it's behind us back there. My gosh, is it just like sleeping in the middle of the, the field? All right, there's some elk carcass and the female dispersal wolves. I guess they seem to be really nervous about the bear tooths as well. Let's see, female dispersals. Uh-oh. Ah! Yeah, 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 yeah! <laughs> they almost got us, guys! The, the junctions almost snuck up on us. None of them look like they are actually... Yeah, they're not having any of this nonsense. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Oof. They were trying to attack again. We're not even in your territory, you, you dorks. Crow's gonna actually have a little a little territory marker just so that you guys will realize we weren't even in your territory. They were really, really, really red wolves. Oh my gosh. And they weren't having any of it, but for all they know, we could be part of the bear tooth. Yeah, have your howl fest. Crow's not interested right now. Um, and actually, yeah, we wanna go a little more this way. So let's go into the edge of the forest and see what we can find. Female dispersal wolves are over there, it seems. We want to be careful because the bear tooth males are constantly following them, which may actually mean that they might be willing to form an alliance with us. Oh, I feel so badly because Crow's heart does belong to Lester, but I am beginning to feel like this is much bigger than just Crow and Lester. And maybe helping to take out the bear tooth males is a way where Crow can kind of help to undo some of the damage that his beloved Lester may have caused this area by helping a hyper-aggressive pack take the lead. What a dark past Lester ended up having. It's kind of like joining a really mean gang that just like attacked indiscriminately. Pups, any, any age wolf was far too aggressive. When a wolf would yield or offer up their territory, I, I bet the bear tooths didn't care and would just keep going to the point of death. Too aggressive, very too aggressive, let's see. Elk, a lot of elk. Snowshoe hare, hmm, 55 minutes ago? Just now? Food? Five minutes ago? Food? Where'd you go, food? Five minutes ago, five minutes ago, just, ah, food. Gotcha, sorry little one. It looks like he got stuck in a bush. I just need a little snack, I'm sorry. Let's go ahead and finish this off. No, 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 let's go ahead and eat it. Before he starts twitching, go Crow, go. That hardly did anything for our hunger. And we're kind of getting close to junction pack territory. Oh, now we're in junction pack territory. All right, that's it. We need a little bit of breathing room or else they're gonna push us right back into the bear tooth area. So we're actually going to do a bit of marking. And then I think we'll do a howl and then maybe pop back out of this area by going west. Yeah. Because I need this to not be junction for like two minutes. <laughs> okay. There you go, Crow, my boy. Gosh, she's so pretty. Dang it, I missed the really beautiful howl. 
All right, but let's see if we can attract a, another group and maybe get a chance to work with them. All right, that's gonna be... It is decreasing the junction territory, though. I feel kind of badly, because normally he'd, he'd be like, look, I don't want your territory. I just need to talk to you. And the canyons were sneaky. I didn't even hear them. They just were going to like creep up on Crow and take him out. And some of you guys are saying you can not decrease the territory, but it does work. It just takes a lot of marking and quite a bit of howling. But we have decreased territory quite a bit with Silver and his, uh, his companion, as you shall see. Here we go. Yes, it's almost not junction territory anymore. Huzzah! And this grove of trees looks like a great location to host a meeting. And we're a little tired, a little hungry. Oh, there you go, beautiful. Look at him. Isn't he just stellar? Ooh, look at the sky. Oh, I love how beautiful the sky is. The depth of detail and the way the world is so alive in Wolf Quest 3 just enchants me nonstop. Uh, as I, I say, as our wolf continues to pee everywhere. But all right, so let's, we'll try to get some of their attention by marking down this territory. Almost our own. And making it not theirs anymore. Almost there. Then we'll go ahead and have a little nap under these beautiful, beautiful trees. And we'll see if we can attract someone to maybe come and work with us. All right, is it almost ours? Man, you have to like mark every few steps, but it's almost ours. We're making a stand. Then a howl. And, oh, it's so faint. Come on, Crow, you can do it. You were just in the water. It takes so much work. It's so much easier when you have a companion like Silver does because then the markings go away a lot faster. Oh, there's some wolves coming. They have heard us. We have almost marked off their territory. We've got to hurry. Come on, pee faster, Crow. Yeah, they're definitely coming towards us and trying to investigate. I see them in the distance, but we've almost completely... There! Now it's neutral territory! Take that, guys! Ha <laughs> ha! We did it! <laughs> we've actually given ourselves a little bit of breathing room away from the Beartooth area. Thank freaking goodness. We're, now that we have held so much, let's come over to these trees where the shadows will actually work to Crow's favor. And let's see if we can attract anybody to come and possibly work with us. We need a very bold wolf. We need one who's not afraid to take on the bear tooths. And now that I'm thinking about it, it might be a good thing if it doesn't turn out to be a white wolf who is Luster's sister, because we very well could end up losing whoever is willing to go into this battle with us. So any dispersal females uh, or any females from the canyons come to visit with us? Do not bite my throat before we have a chance to parlay, please. Oh. Well, there's some wolves over there. Dang it, I don't think that they're... But I don't think they're here for courtship, unfortunately. Oh, they're here for the hunt! Ah, it's a male! <laughs> Dig it! It's a male. His name is Cinnabar. That's so- or he's from Cinnabar. That's 33 male? What? Are you like some sort of ancient ancient wolf? That is so interesting. Unfortunately, that's not the wolf we are looking for. What the heck? That is so interesting. Huh. Huh. But I wonder if that's like a little tiny small way to, to suggest that like male dispersal wolves. Yes, yeah, Cinnabar, huh? What about, what's, who's down here? So Cinnabar came, maybe to listen. 
It's my territory markings are everywhere here. <laughs> That's what this is in the wind. So we're sending off some signals and a very, very, very old wolf named Cinnabar apparently came by to see what this is all about. And I don't think we can really communicate with them, but I wonder if that's just a subtle way, especially because he did some howling right next to us, where he's trying to indicate that, you know, he's he's got our back. He's watching. The packs are watching. And now we need to see if they'll send forth a representative that we can actually work with. I don't want to fight, Cinnabar. The representative that we can work with to uh, get rid of the bear tooths. So, all right, my friends, not the wolf that we were looking for. Uh, a elk herd did wander right up to us, so we might take a break to get a little bit of food. Maybe Cinnabar wants to do a hunt together. Who knows? Maybe he'll chase us off the hunt. Who knows? But we'll see if we can find a representative to become Crow's companion next time. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for Crow and his mission to make Yellowstone safer for all of the wolf packs. If you would like to join us for this and even more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.